in a match here that is for the Knockouts World Championship. A Texas death match going to be competed between two of the most decorated knockouts in the history of this company. And here we go. It's getting ready to come up next. Wow, I can't wait for this one. This is gonna be good. For the first time in two years, Deanna Perrazzo enters an Impact Wrestling pay-per-view without her Impact Knockouts World title. And you can see just by the look on the face of Deanna, that drives her absolutely insane. Yeah, Deanna changed everything about herself, her attitude, her appearance, her walk, her swagger. There's a new intensity because, like you said, for the first time, she's working out in over two years not representing the Knockouts as their champion. Deanna Perrazzo has been furious because of the recent news, especially regarding Mickey James, which we'll tell you about here in a moment. But tonight is about one thing, getting back the Impact Knockouts Women's World title to be paired with the Reina De Reina's title. It was announced last night that Mickey James, the reigning Impact Knockouts World Champion, is officially in WWE's Women's Royal Rumble match later this month. This is unprecedented. To my knowledge, I have never, ever known another company's world champion to walk into the Royal Rumble. If Mickey James can defend the title here tonight, man, what a moment for her and Impact Wrestling. This is the Tale of the Tape, presented by The Free Fall, in theaters and streaming January 14th. And to your point, Velo, it is going to come down to this Texas death match. If Mickey James can retain her championship, then yes, she will carry it with her into the Royal Rumble match. But Deanna Perrazzo is looking to spoil that and Mickey James, quote unquote, 15 minutes of fame. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Heart to Kill main event of the evening. When the bell rings, the referee for this match will be Brian Hepner. This match is for the Impact Knockout World Championship. It is scheduled to be a Texas death match where there is no disqualification. No count out, falls count anywhere, and after each fall, the competitor has to a 10 count to reach their feet, or they will lose the match. Introducing, ladies and gentlemen, the participants. First to my left, the challenger from Hackettstown, New Jersey. She is the virtuosa, Diana. Razzo. And in the corner to my right, from Richmond, Virginia, she is the reigning and defending Knockouts World Champion, McKeon J. Well, you've been in a Texas death match. Who do you believe this match type favors, Mickey or Deanna? Uh, I'm gonna go with Deanna because I believe Deanna's the harder hitter and she has the more dominant strikes. But don't put anything past Mickey James. She's the world, the knockouts world's champion for a reason. This is our main event here at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view in Dallas, Texas. Perrazzo, James, for the Impact Knockouts World Championship in a Texas death match. And, and this is two falls. There's two, there's two steps to this match. You've got to secure the pinfall, and then you've got to render your opponent so helpless they cannot stand back up before the 10 count. 
This is going to be a tough match. And securing the pinfall is hard enough, but in the event that your opponent gets up before the count of 10, you've got to start all the way back to square continues. one. Yep. Like falling down a flight of stairs. And early on, this is Deanna Peralto going for a patented Fujiwara armbar. And now James looking for a cover early and a quick and cover, but Deanna Perrazzo, obviously fresh, but Mickey James saying, look how quickly I can pin you. Yeah, but see, the pin, it's just twofold. Like I said, it doesn't matter here. That's more of a mental game right there. So the match continues. Again, you must achieve a pinfall, and then the person who was pinned has to be down for a count of 10. So it's more of a mind game with these pinfall attempts. Well, it's very clear Deanna Perrazzo is far more emotional than Mickey James coming into this matchup. Perrazzo has tried to instigate things, thus the no contact clause that Scott Demore and Gail Kim have been observing between these two. It's why Matt Raywalt is banned from getting involved in this match or else he's fired. He's fired and Deanna will lose the match, so. Oh. And see, both, both these competitors have championship pedigree. They know what it's like to, to compete at the highest level for championships. That part is not going to intimidate them. What is is knowing you've got to get the pinfall and then have your opponent not stand back up. Hot shot! Like who you are. Again, going for the arm ball. Oh, Venus de Milo. Venus de Milo locked in. And an early tap out here by Mickey James. But Deanna Peraza was refusing to let go, as you can see, Mickey James, count of two, and now a count of three is back up to her feet, so we continue on. Let's restart. Self-preservation there by Mickey James. Whoa. That is, that is Roxy, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Ring of Honor's had their fingerprints all over this pay-per-view. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get security here because I need somebody around me. Well, hold on a second. Deanna Perrazzo, the one who instigated that, stepped right onto Ring of well, Honor this television is true. This and challenged Roxy for her title. Actually, she invited her here down to Dallas, so that's probably where Roxy's here. Creating space here. No count outs, no disqualifications. Nope. This is legal. It is a Texas death match. Okay. Mickey says, I see your chair, and I raise you a chair. There's a reason they call hardcore country. Okay. Giannis says, I see your chair. Can I raise you another one? And Brian Hebner is gonna have to duck and cover. And and, and Brian Hebner is just just Running for his life in the ring. Henry might want to get out of the ring. Yeah, I'm, I'm running. I wouldn't want to be Brian. Oh! It's the old saying, get the ring out of the way so these two can fight. <laughs> yes. And Perrazzo's had enough of this. Closing the gap between her and James with a thing about something else. He has to go over a table. Uh, look at Mickey James going for the basement drop kick, but uh, to the outside, trying to use the table to brace. Oh, and down goes Peraza. And now Mickey's got the chair in hand. Oh! And now Mickey's taking control of this match, and this is the pace that Mickey wants. Looking is that the golf club for the hardcore yes. war. Hey, if it's still under the ring, it's legal, right? Unbelievable. This night has been pure chaos. Absolute carnage from the word go. Oh! Oh! Is, is that a wheelbarrow? You're absolutely right. Did Penzer bring that from home? Now, Mickey James trying to take over. Oh! Oh, into the steel post! Deanna Perrazzo has changed the complexion of this match. Will love nothing more than to derail this path ahead of Mickey James. The way that Mickey James derailed her second knockouts world title ring. And while we got a small break in the action, right now, hard to kill is trending number seven. Trending number seven right now. What an amazing accomplishment. 
for Impact Wrestling and all of his talent. And it's been a hell of a pay-per-view here at Hard to Kill in Dallas, Texas. A fabulous crowd here inside the factory. Shot right to the throat by Peraza. Now, Deanna really trying to be aggressive here. This is not the Deanna Peraza who was interested in getting in the ring, showing off her glitz and glam and technical wizardry. Oh, this is about brutality. This is about revenge, getting back her championship. That's all she's been focused on since losing it, is getting, is beating Mickey James and retaking back the Knockouts World title. Both women at this point have exchanged either a pinfall or a submission at this point. Trying to soften each other up, trying to get deeper into that 10 count that follows a pinfall or submission. And, and now, Nikki taking Deanna up to the top of the ramp. Oh! And Mickey with a knee, and look at these two at the top of the oh. ramp. And you wonder what, what, what they have in mind right here, right now. Oh, oh! Suplex on the stage. There is, there is nothing there. There's no give there. And the official has gone up there to continue to check on Mickey James. Where is Deanna Perrazzo going? This is, it's a smart strategy though. If you can wear Mickey James out, secure the pinfall now, Mickey might be primed. Oh, oh it's a road case. It, try for the cover now, Deanna, because if you can, I'm, I'm not rooting for either one, but this might be a good time to go for the cover. Balls count anywhere. On top of Mickey James, here's the cover. And Mickey James has been pinned. And now the 10 count. Mickey has got to get to our feet before the 10 count is completed. Two, three. Count of three, Mickey James Four. barely moving. Mickey James is out. Could we be a matter Six. of seconds away from Deanna Perrazzo's third Seven. world title? Eight. Count of eight. Oh, Mickey James is busted open. Nine. Count of nine. Count of nine, and Mickey Mickey's James up. is back up to a foot. This match continues. But like you said, Mickey James is busted open. And Perrazzo is furious. That Mickey James is even able to continue. My goodness. You can look at, there's a glazed look over Mickey James' eyes, and she sees the ring, but that's about it, probably. And oh. Mickey James operating out of instant. Now, Deanna taking back over. Oh, no! Mickey ramming Deanna's low back in, into the ring apron. Deanna trying to create space here. And now with the steel chair, Mickey James able to evade. Look at Mickey James go. Oh, a single leg crab and sitting down tight. Single leg Boston crab, middle of the ring. Mickey is sitting down tight. With blood all over her face, Mickey James is trying to fight through the pain and getting to the bottom rope is Deanna Perrazzo. But again, there's no rope breaks no, in the Texas Death Match. You can only use that for leverage. Now, Mickey. Oh! Drop kick through the ropes. And Perrazzo did enough to get herself away from Mickey James, but it didn't do her a whole lot of good in the end. No, and now Mickey is seeing that blood. And that can do one of two things. It can either make you queasy, or it can make you just ratchet up your intensity. Things are getting serious here. Okay, Mickey's got control of Deanna again. Oh! That was a knee strike with that knee brace. Using the knee brace to her advantage. It's all legal. Oh, and another knee right to 
on the side of the face. This might be Mickey James' opportunity. That's three unprotected shots from that brace right to the face of Deanna Perrazzo. But James realizes how tough Deanna Perrazzo is. He's got to do a whole lot more just to earn a pinfall or a submission against Perrazzo, but then keep her down for a count of 10. And that's the hard part. That is definitely the hard part, is trying to get that 10 count after the one, two, three. You can see, you can see Mickey is, is, doesn't have all her strength there, that being busted open and, and the punishment she's already taken, it's very hard for her to maneuver that table around. So from behind on James, who's trying to set up all oh, this table in the corner. Well, you saw Deanna wait for the perfect moment when, when Mickey's back was turned to her and then attacked. Serve herself, Brian Hebner doing everything possible to keep Perazzo off her. And, and now the 10 count starts. Did Mickey James tap out quickly enough to save herself in this 10 count? Count of four. Mickey is pretty much motionless on the floor. Uh, Mickey, Mickey's starting to move, trying to get to the barricade, trying to get herself up. Count of eight, and Mickey James is up to a feet. The match continues. And now Deanna poises strike. Oh, and Perrazzo piles on top of Mickey James on the outside. And, and let's take a look at this right here. Mickey oh. James just going right into those tacks, and they're still in her back right now. How about a little hardcore country? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, and Perrazzo from behind. This arms James. And, and, and Nikki tweeted out to the world last night, she spent all night up making that guitar just for this match. And now, Deanna's going after that injured oh. knee of Mickey James. is virtually in, inadvertently rolling around in these thumbtacks. Oh, oh no. Lining that chair up around the knee. Deanna is going to try to end the career of Mickey James right here, right now. If she connects with this. Oh, wait a minute, Mickey James. Mickey James got her leg out from the steel chair. Now Mickey James right off the skull of Perrazzo. And Mickey oh, fell right into the tax. Oh, God, right in her hand. What is it going to take to secure a pinfall and a 10 count? Watch this. All oh, this chair shot. Just straight to the head. Sending Perrazzo crashing down hard. Now what's Mickey's lining up. Brian, Brian 
have the end of the count at three now. Count of five. Is Mickey James about to retain her knockout world title? Wait a minute. Raywald. Raywald, Raywald getting Deanna Prazo back up to her feet. He didn't put his hands on James. No. So he's not fired. No, he's in and, and, and the match continue. But behind Mickey's going to the top. Oh no, James wiping out everybody. And, and I do believe Deanna's been busted open from that chair shot. Oh, you can see it. Yes, you're absolutely right, D Lo. Matt Raywall came down here as one of the many plans, of course. You gotta imagine Deanna Perrazzo cooked up before this matchup. And it still didn't save the Queen. You know, the Queen is hurting right now, and Mickey looks to try to take advantage of the situation. Mickey James once more trying to manipulate the table. Could this be enough to get rid of Deanna Perrazzo? Now, straight shots to the head of Deanna Perrazzo in that laceration. And where is Mickey going? Oh! Uh-oh. Going for the Queen's Gambit? Oh, God. Not Going this. for the Queen's Not Gambit? This. Through the table. Perrazzo trying to rip oh! down through the table. But Dilo, it is truly difficult to figure out who got the worst of that. Perrazzo stirring first into the cover at least. A pinfall on Mickey James. And here we go. Perrazzo endured plenty going through that table, but did enough to get herself into a pinning opportunity. Count of four. Is Perrazzo about to reclaim the Impact Knockouts World title? Seven. Count of eight. Count of nine, maybe he's up. Mickey's up. Oh, no, Deanna caught the chair. Go for the chair right to the rim. Sicky caught it. Tug of war of the chair. Oh! Into the tax. Tax into the hands, the knees of Peraza. Uh-oh. Oh, what a low, 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 I, I, I. So went for with the chair and then the kick. And now the big DDT. Big DDT. Perrazzo's down. Mickey gets the pinfall. And now the 10 count. This could be it. Count of five. Perrazzo isn't moving. Not a bit at all. We're up to six. Well, and Mickey James is gonna make sure she buries Perrazzo in the rubble and can't stand up. That's it! Mickey James retains! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still knockouts world champion, Mickey! James, what a hell of a match, what a hell of a fight, wow, look at this, let's take a look at Nikki James here, taking the ball right into the tax, into the tax and then this chair shot to Deanna Perrazzo, watch, 
Boom! And right that, the side that, of the head. That busted Deanna Peraza wide open right there. And look at this dive off the top. Yo, and Matt Raywall came into this and got Deanna Peraza to stand back up. The match continued. Boom! The Queen's Gambit right through the table. But that still could not keep Mickey down. And the El Kabong right Listen, there. I'm Mickey James taking out Raywall. Then the kick. The mid kick and then went for the mid DT. Boom! That was enough to secure the one, two, three. Amazing! Mickey James came into this with a plan. She was able to bury Deanna Perrazzo in the rubble in the end to make sure she couldn't stand up in that 10 count. I don't know if Deanna could have stood up anyway, but just did it for good measure. Mickey James, still your Impact Knockouts World Champion, has cleared her path towards the Royal Rumble match. Thank you for joining us tonight at Hard to Kill in Dallas, Texas.